Hospital Duane Medical Center website, the world's most innovative and extraordinary healthcare. Um, following Alan November's advice to read the URL, examine content, and then ask about the author and owner. So starting with um, reading the URL, I see that it's a .com. Well, a lot of hospitals are. Some are .org, some are .com, but most are businesses. Um, as I look at the date, it's 2008. So I just want to see if they're current, if they have a 2010. But they don't. Go back a year, see whether their website expired in 2009. It didn't. Let's see if they were around in 07. Not at that web address. Let me go back to the main site. I go back to the main site, and what I have is 2008. Now, we're already there, I'm calling the site into question. As I evaluate uh, content, I begin by looking at the graphics on the page. Um, I see a lot of links, and I see this really cool graphic of this device. It doesn't say what the device is. It looks a little bit like a cellular phone or a tricorder. I don't know. Um, it's supposed to be a medical dice device, I imagine, but the way it's morphing and transforming seems to me physically impossible. Um, so I'm already calling that into question. At any rate, there's no explanation for it. As I look at the links, it says I can read more about this 12 minutes of sleep a night. Most grad students could use a pill that could get you by on that. But as I'm doing it, I'm finding that none of these links are taking me anywhere. Now, that doesn't mean all the links are dead. These are live. But first, I'm going to take a second and just look at this trophy here. Among the finest hospitals in the U.S. and perhaps the world, Innovative Healthcare Awards. I went ahead and looked up, sorry, Innovation in Healthcare Awards, and I found different sites. Um, here, Leadership and in Innovation in Healthcare Awards from the Abbey seem to be the closest. They do actually have this trophy with the guy holding a star. But wait a minute guy holding a star, yet we have an angel with wings holding a disc on this one. I looked up a few different innovation in healthcare awards. There actually are some given out around the country. I couldn't find any that listed RYT as being an award winner, and I couldn't find um, any that had a trophy that looked like this. Uh, I won't drag you through the 20 pages. I love these videos. Wish we had time to watch them. What I learned from them is that there's a guy named Lee Mingwei who is supposed to be the first pregnant man. I looked him up on a regular image search in quotation marks, and I found that he has a website. Um, he is an artist. Uh, looks like an installation artist, and among his art projects is listed male pregnancy. Um, not among his accomplishments in his personal life necessarily, although, again, this is a lovely um, website documenting that. Um, we have this U.S. News and World Report cover. I wanted to get a closer look at that, so I went ahead and Googled image searched this image, and I found the cover, which, by the way, is exactly the same as the Time cover, except for the swirly stuff around here, even down to the man question mark of the year. But if you remember one of our past presidential elections, if you uh, looked at U.S. News Report um, and I think Newsweek, or Time, one of the other magazines, it's not terribly unusual that you'll see the same cover. However, as I zoom in the cover to try to get a good look at the date, not only am I having a hard time reading the date, is that Cyrillic? Um, I'm seeing that the U.S. News and World Report logo is covering up something that starts with a K over here. You see that? And over here I've got a plus sign. You, normally, U.S. News Re World Report isn't all that sloppy in putting the covers together. So again, it makes me a little bit suspicious. I was also interested in Juno Choice by Dr. Elizabeth Pretner. I watched a video and I wanted to learn more, so I went in to look under researchers. I also looked under patients, friends, and family, and providers and find that no matter what link I use, it takes me to this page. In other words, multiple links to the same page. Um, I followed some of the external links. This one takes us to an article about bionics at uh, CNN.com. Uh, bionics is not science fiction anymore. And um, yeah, I grew up on the Million Dollar Man, but I'll tell you, there's no mention of RYT in this article. Bionics is a legitimate field of research in medicine. Um, however, this company doesn't seem to be researching it, or at least not according to that article. The same went for the head transplantation, which I think took me to a BBC article about head transplantation in um, other simians, not in humans. The nanotechnology page was really interesting. Um, I'm interested in nanotechnology. I've read a Michael Crichton novel about it, so uh, you know it's rattling around in my head. But is that a pair of headphones on that nanodoc? 
I'm pretty sure that is. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I have that set of headphones uh, somewhere in my office here. Um, this is a really nice uh, little flash animation showing how their nanites work in the bloodstream. Again, this is potentially possible, um, but I think I would have seen more headlines about it if it had actually happened. And for that matter, I don't remember seeing this U.S. News & World Reports uh, cover in the newsstands either. Uh, for that matter, I'm pretty sure I would have heard about it around the water cooler if it had been there. Now, back to the site. Um, I have one more thing that I thought was really cool, and that's the prenatal gene therapy. And they have a little test here that you can do, sort of reminiscent of uh, that website that has the computer monitor tanning. In this one, you can put your thumb on a little scanner, and it'll actually scan your genetic code. Very convenient, especially if you've been locked up for a crime you didn't commit and want to use um, DNA evidence to exonerate yourself. Unfortunately, I'm almost certain that a cathode ray tube or an LCD screen, um, whatever monitor device you have, can't be used for an input device in that particular way. But I could be wrong, and I suppose it's only a matter of time. But uh, for right now, I was almost sure they had to actually take a swab to get some DNA from you. Um, I don't have a whole lot more time to talk about this right now. I've enjoyed the RYT hospital site, but I'm going to call this one a very skillful hoax. Um, I have a couple of references to thank for the little bit of knowledge I have about evaluating websites. I want to thank Eagleton and Dobler. I want to thank Alan November. Um, I found this experience uh, very interesting as far as the websites go. Extremely frustrating regarding the technology. Um, I'm using Screen Toaster, and there's, it's hard to save, it's hard to edit, and there's all kinds of little glitches that can go wrong with it. Um, I found it very frustrating, but potentially extremely useful in providing lessons for students, um, especially in things like evaluating websites or just how to do different computer applications. It's a nice way to allow them, wherever they are, to access your um, experience in using computer applications. And that's all it is for me. This is Douglas Gauld. Thank you very much.